Crafters, it's Michelle from My Craft Source. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, Father's Day is right around the corner. This Father's Day, you'll want to show Dad you truly care with thoughtful gifts made just for him. So have you found yourself asking, does he like hiking? Does he like sports teams? Is he the master of the barbecue grill? Does he always hit up the gym? Is he just amazing at completing all those honeydews that you are always asking him to do? Well, I know that my guy, he is awesome at honeydews. So today I'm going to create this canvas tool tote for him to carry around all his little tools while he's doing those honeydews for me. Uh, so whether he's the type of dad who has everything or the dad that wants nothing, a handmade creation from you is the best gift of all. So no matter if the dad you're creating for is a first time dad, a well seasoned pro like grandpa, your brother, or even your favorite doggy dad, these Father's Day SVG files can help you make a gift that any guy is sure to love. So I went to Harbor Freight this morning and picked up this canvas tote for $6.99. What a great gift idea to customize for the dad in your life. I've got my canvas tote, which you could put these SVGs on a t-shirt as well or any other tool bag. I thought this one was perfect just for some small things to be tossed in there and carried around. Well, this is going to be a gift for my kids uh, to my husband. So this would be perfect for him to toss some tools in and stick it in his car so he has it. And every time he pulls it out to use it, he'll be reminded of his kids. So um, I am going to be using Sizer's Glow in the Dark heat transfer vinyl. I thought this would be an interesting look because once it's thrown in his truck, he'll probably never find it again. But uh, maybe by the glowing light of the dad SVG file, he'll be able to go and find it. But anyways, you can use any kind of Easy Weed, uh, Easy Weed Stretch, or other heat transfer vinyl that you wish to use for your project. I just happen to choose Easy Weed Glow for my project today. So once you've sent your files to the cutter, you're going to trim away any excess vinyl and just weed away our cavities and the vinyl that we don't need on our design. When using heat transfer vinyl, if you're not using the printed pattern heat transfer, then you're going to cut in reverse your images onto your vinyl. So this is the dad SVG file that's got the silhouette of a dad holding his kids in the air and husband and wife holding hands. So when I sent this to my cutter, I made sure that I mirrored the image. So we're just going to remove all the cavities and voids. So we can reveal our silhouette. Okay, so there we have our design that's been weeded away. You can see it says dad and there's a picture of a man holding his baby and over here is a man throwing his child in the air and then a husband and wife holding hands. So I thought this was a perfect compliment to our family. So that's the one I chose to use today. Um, I have taken my bag that I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to pre-press my bag. So in order to do that, I'm going to take my stuffing out because I stuffed it just so y'all could kind of see what the bag was. Um, we're going to want to use a heat transfer pillow for this because there are zippers and seams and these handles that will get in the way. So we just want to try to fold it over to get as flat of a surface as we can. So there we go. I'm gonna stick it right on the press and I have my press preheated to 305 degrees and I'm going to pre-press my design. So my bag has these straps right uh, midway through it. So I'm going to apply this vinyl right below those straps because I don't want the vinyl to adhere to the straps because I feel like it would leave a gap between where the straps and the fabric meet. Okay, so now that I have my press ready to press my tote, I will adjust my pressure settings by turning pressure dial 
at the top of my press until I get even pressure on my bag. When I sit my tote on my press, I'm using a heat transfer pillow underneath to absorb any of these seams and lines that might prevent us from getting an even pressure. When I lay my bag down, I want to make sure that the inside of the bag is not folded in to create an uneven pressure as well, because that could cause some wrinkles within your design. I'm also going to hang over the edge of my platen, the bulky part of our tote. That way I can get the best pressure and a flat surface when I go to apply. So we just want to cover our bag, make sure our press is preheated to 305 degrees, and then we're going to press with that pressure for 12 seconds. This is a canvas tote, uh, so the canvas will have a lot of texture to it, but the Easy Weed shouldn't have any problem adhering to that. Uh, so now we're done, we've gone for the full 12 seconds, and then we can go ahead and remove our carrier sheet, hot or cold, depending on your preference, to reveal your design. And there you have the perfect dad tote. No matter if the dad you're creating for is a first time dad or a seasoned dad like grandpa, your brother, or your favorite doggy dad, whether he's the type of dad who has everything or the dad that wants nothing, he is sure to love a gift that is made from the heart. I can't wait to see what Father's Day gifts you're going to create for that special man in your life. See you guys around.